Welcome back. You're with us here on Aspire. Well, F1 Fever is back. We're talking about the second Indian Grand Prix. And how can our attention not be on those F1 drivers? They have quite a lifestyle, as we found out. Jensen, thank you so much for coming on the show. So, uh, you were the youngest Brit on the F1 circuit. And I was reading somewhere that you failed your first driving lesson because you parked too close to another vehicle. How true is that? It's it's close to being true, yes. I did, uh, I did fail my first driving test. Uh, and the reason was, not because of, of parking, it was because uh, I went for a gap that wasn't there. That's what the instructor said. Uh, there was a car coming the other way, uh, there were parked cars on my side, and I went through the gap. And he said I shouldn't have done it because the lady coming the other way drove up the curb. And I got in trouble for it. You won the first race of the season uh, and you had quite a streak going till the Malaysian Grand Prix uh, where you finished 14. So were you, were you disappointed with that, with the turn of events there? Uh, Malaysia was a tough one because uh, I was uh, in second place and then I touched another car and broke the front wing and that was my race over. Yeah, but, um, yeah I mean, there's been some tough races this year and the tyres are very difficult to work with. Um, so. We tried, I tried with the car, and with my engineers, going a certain direction that we could work, hopefully get temperature into the tyres. It didn't work, yeah. and we had a couple of really bad races, came back, developed in another direction, and it's uh, improved a lot. So, um, so let's, uh, what's on cards for the Indian GP, what do you expect there? Um, you know, I think if you look at our car over the last few races, yeah. the speed has been there, but it's the reliability we've struggled with um, a couple of times. So. We hope the reliability is there, and yeah. I think if it is, we can really challenge the, the other top teams for a win here. You know, it'd be great to, to stay on the podium. I finished second last year yeah, yeah. Um, behind Vettel, yeah. and uh, it'd be good to go one better, you know. I really enjoy the circuit, and I, I feel that there's a, a really good atmosphere here at the Buddha circuit. So hopefully there's even more interest in the sport, and uh, we can have an even better event. <laughs> Those F1 drivers really have it good on the circuit and off it. And as we say goodbye on this edition of Aspire, we're giving you a little more taste of the lifestyle of the F1 drivers. Enjoy. Bye-bye. We travel a lot. We're traveling to races. A lot of the time, you have to fly privately. It does give you that buzz. When I first got to ride on a private jet, I couldn't believe it. The luxury that you get, it is the coolest place to travel. Every time I step onto a private plane, it's actually there to fly me home. I always have a, a smile on my face. Jets are fast. It's exhilarating, it's sexy. You can go to Madrid early morning and have a meeting there. You can go to Milan in the afternoon. You can have dinner in Amsterdam and still be back in your home the same night. Still, when I get on the plane, I have to pinch myself. It's unbelievable. I have never seen somebody walk off a private jet without a smile. There's not that many better ways to spend the weekend than on a boat. If you're having a party on a boat, there's no limitations. It's not like the bar closes, you can do whatever you want. I've seen a boat with a pool on it and it actually turns into a helipad. That's unbelievable. It's serious luxury. This is impressive. After a race, you want to get out quickly. The easiest way is to use a helicopter. You can see the, the harbour and, and most of the track. It's crazy that we drive a 4 one car around the streets, it really is. There are so many different countries we fly to, from Australia to Malaysia to Japan to America to Brazil. Time is very precious. If I had to do all that flying commercially, then I probably wouldn't be able to be in all those places. The luxury that you get is just the, the time that you get back. You just get straight to work.